hold this space for you for freedom. We all carry the same programs. We all carry the same stuff. Do this work because on the other side is freedom and it's delicious to live from that place and from not knowing. My whole life collapsed. I had absolutely nothing stable anymore. I lost most of my money. I lost my home after I left Constellation Work. And I was thrust into this total deconstruction process. Not only inside, the whole sense of Margot disappeared, but also my outer life just completely collapsed. And I ended up traveling in these foreign countries, Mexico, Panama, I had no idea why I was there, but I was just moved there. Something pushed me to go there. <clears throat> and eventually all of my money ran out. And I was truly trusting, like I'm trusting the field here implicitly. I trusted that I would be taken care of in life implicitly because everything was taken from me. I couldn't. I, I had no more will of my own. My, my will was whoever that nothing, whatever that emptiness was that was now in charge of me, was guiding me. And so at one point, almost all of my money was, <laughs> was gone. And I had this thought, I was in, um, in uh, Mexico at the time, there's so many second houses by foreigners and also rich Mexicans. It's then empty most of the year and they're most gorgeous locations and I thought and they're broken into and of course if nobody lives there the houses kind of collapse and I this thought appear out of nowhere well I should live in these houses or if one in one of them and take care of it and so great idea and so I just followed that impulse and I went online and I found you know one of those uh, website where foreigners advertise stuff on, 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 an, on the internet and I had never done house sitting, had never done caretaking work, but I offered my services there. And within a couple of days, somebody responded, says, yes, I have a house. It was just recently broken into. <coughs> it's in this little village right by the beach, and we would love to have you take care of it. <laughs> and so that's how my whole lifestyle of being a traveling home caretaker started. And so I really have lived even though I was homeless, I was eventually totally penniless. Um, lived like a millionaire. I lived in million dollar homes at the most spectacular locations. And from nothing, like I was saying, you drop into not knowing and you will be held. Something will show up. But that cannot surface unless you are willing to make the step into the unknown. So I just want to share this kind of crazy story with you that even though I've lost everything and didn't know what I was going to do, I was moved in a way continuously taken care of. And so we have to learn how to do life differently. I mean, I live such a different life now and wouldn't want to go back to how Margot lived her life before because she was always worried. She was always trying to figure things out. She was always in her head. And all of that is gone. <coughs> I totally trust that I am taken care of. And so that's a completely different way of doing life as a whole. But each little programming, when it collapses, like I shared earlier, you won't know how to do life. Because all we know how to do is the way we are programmed. So we have to be courageous, truly courageous, because it takes courage to step into the unknown of not known. Truly be courageous to really collapse it, just and not doing it that old way anymore. And even though I don't know how else to do it, I'm willing to withstand the not knowing and wait for something new to surface. And that's where the freedom is, because it surfaces then that no longer from this program structure, but it surfaces from the authentic being. And that authentic being is linked with all of life. We are all that authentic being. We are all that authentic energy of life. It moves through us, through how we are programmed. But you see that the airtight quality is the same in all of us. What looks out our eyes 
is that ground of being that all these spiritual teachers and religious powerhouses talk about. It's God is one way, but you know, I to me it was nothingness because it's, everything was cleared away. If all of this was cleared away, this was left. And to me it felt like nothing. But it also felt like I totally could fall back in this nothing. You know when you stand in constellation work and you lean back into your mother or father? That's what it feels like. I totally trusted and felt let, um, uh, fell yeah. back in the nothingness. And then nothingness just helped me. But I already learned, you know, constellation work really taught me how to let go and trust in this not knowing. So that's the invitation. To do life completely differently. If something isn't working for you, if the programming is working for you, it's great. You don't have to break your whole life down, just those that potentially are not working good. Well, where you have a push, yeah? If, if your true nature, if, the, if life is pushing you to look at something, do it, look at it. Because you don't know what's on the other side. Because this cannot know. This cannot know what else is possible. This only knows this, and this is what it wants to keep going, because that's all it knows. <laughs>